Hey guys, Meliza here, back with another video for you guys. If you guys didn't see my Instagram post, I did a whole um, Lisa Frank inspired projects with um, using the retro phone die, which I was excited about getting. Um, and I think they turned out super cute. Um, once again, this is from Scrap Diva Designs. Here's all of Erica's information. Please use um, the hashtag uh, Scrap Diva Designs to get inspired. And don't forget to use uh, my code Meliza10 if you guys want to um, save money on your next purchase. Um, but here are the uh, the telephone sentiments. I cut it all out. So you get the word hotline, what's up, what's chat. It's for you, call me. You could use call me or you could just call me anytime. Hey there. These are super cute. When I get like sentiment dies like this, I do like to cut out all of the um, sentiments out, even though if I don't use them, I like to have them on hand um, and store it um, with the die. So if I'm building a card or whatever, and I'm not sure what sentiments work or if it would fit onto whatever I'm working with, it's easy to, um, you know, have on hand and then uh, place it on your project to see if it fits there, it looks good or not, and then you could cut it out with any, you know, color or pattern paper you want. But I that's what I like to do with sentiments. <clears throat> so that's the uh, the sentiment die for the retro phone. And then I made, so she has the shaker die. And this is what the shaker die um, cuts out. You can make yourself a shaker. I loved how this turned out. So I used um, buttons and galore and more. They're, they're pops line, different colors. I also used this from the Happy Crafter Shop that Lisa sent me as a free gift. Then um, this glitter that I got from Hobby Lobby because it's neon colors. But that's what I use for my filler in here. And then these hearts are from the negative space from the other telephone that I'm gonna show you guys. This is also from the Happy Crafter Shop, this little teddy bear. And then this tube is from um, the Dollar Tree. So when I was cleaning up, I did find a little piece of acetate which fit perfectly for this. So I was able to use the shaker um, die set. So let me show you what the dies come with. So for the shaker um, die, you get these two pieces. So you get a base piece and then you get the shaker portion, which lines it. So that's one set of the die. And then for the dial, I did use the separate set. It's the phone dial, and it comes with this little notch thing where you place right there. So when the um, when you spin the dial, it catches that little thing. But I did not use it for this, and I did not make this um, a turning one. But what you get, and then for this negative piece, the screen, um, I do have it cut out right here. I have it right here, I'm gonna save it because I did cut out a, um, a base piece to make it a card. So I'm not wasting it, you know. So I'm gonna make this out of card or you could easily make this an embellishment if you want. So I have that on the side so I can make this into a little card. For her next, so that's the shaker like little add-on thing. And then this is the retro telephone die set. Sorry, you guys. Let me see if I got a magnet sheet. So with this set, um, it's cut out separate, so you don't get one whole piece. You get the bottom portion with the stitching detail. Then you get the um, the phone with the stitching detail. Then you get this, the rotary dial with the hearts. You get this cord, and then you get another cord. 
Sorry. Let's it's probably, oh, it's right here. Sorry. So you get the one with the heart. And then the regular cord. And then these line up your little heart and dials. And this is what I made with that one. I didn't put any um, sentiment on there yet, but this is super cute. So you have a, two different options. You can have it fully detached or you can have this one where um, you can have it detached. And I did make this one. A spinning one, which I love. I loved how this, these turned out. And then um, I made two more. I couldn't make any more shakers because this is the last of the last of the acetate. So um, I made um, some Easter ones. This one, I think, yeah, it does spin. And this one says, hey peeps, and it has a little bunny. I wanted to make the bunny look, looks like the bunny um, is like talking to the chicks that are in the egg. And then these flowers are handmade by Lisa from the Happy Crafter Shop. But as you can see, the gold is um, the little outline. So you do have to cut this twice to cover all the little heart holes right there. Um, so the hay is from this sentiment, the phone sentiment. And then Peeps is from Chaos Craft. I got a little Easter set. And then this paper line I used is this Recollections one that I got last year that was on sale for $5. I love, love, love this paper. Super simple paper, but I really like this, the Bumblebee one and then the Butterfly paper. And then my second bunny one that I made is this one. Once again, this is from the um, Erica's Phone Sentiment, and then this bunny is a KS Craft. This is functioning. And then I took a KS Craft bunny bow. Um, these were already pre-made from my last video when I got um, all those dies from AliExpress that I cut out. All I did was take the um, feet on the yeah the feet off of the bow and then placed it on the bottom. I loved how this one turned out also. But that's it for the phones. Back to my other dies that I did. Um, did a shoe. These are not attached. I wanted to make a card out of this, but how to make a shoe out of this paper. And once again, this paper is from Miss Kate Cuttables. It's the rainbow animal print. And I'm, I'm in love, you guys. Love this paper. So I do have the sentiment cut out in foam to have it lifted. But I am planning to make a card out of this. Then for fun, I did use her scalloped um, heart dies to make some fun hearts with leftover paper. And these are on foam too. Um, be cute to add a little sentiment on that. Then I used her love tag and created these ones. This is the first one I made. So I added, used the double loop bow. And I used, I, um, Got inspired by Buzzing with V. She used plastic plates to make these bows. So I use the same technique. Um, if I figure out how to um, link a video in my description box, I'm gonna leave the link to her video of um, her showing you how to make these bows. But it gives you, I just loved how that looked. And then I added this little lightning bolt that I got from um, Hobby Lobby a while ago. Gives me like little Cindy Lauper vibes, but I added a second little tag underneath here. I need to uh, cut out some like white cardstock or something so I could write a little message. I loved how this turned out. 
and then oh I added um, some of that I used some neon yellow snow tool from the Dollar Tree so I had this in my stash I have like um, yellow um, hot pink orange so I had a lot of neon snow tool that I got from the Dollar Tree so put that underneath um, this gummy bear and then I got these gummy bears through Amazon there's some neon colors in here so I had to use them on this project and then this eyelash trim was um, part of the D stash that I got from Ashley from more crafts here on YouTube and Instagram so I thought it was cute to add on here and then for the second one for fun I cut it out I cut out a little lip gloss from her um, lip mini album use that snow tool since I didn't have acetate and then um, put some of that this little glitter in there in the middle and as you can see these little dots are the fallout for the negative space from this I just added it on there for decoration then I used the different snow tool layered them up and then made a little bow placed um, a neon green gummy bear right there added some lips add the word sentiment um, kisses on there but I loved how this one turned out also and what else I think that's it you guys so um, with the shaker um, retro phone you get the full base piece plus the um, lining piece to make it a shaker and then the retro telephone set you get these two pieces with the layering stitch piece so you could decorate it plus the accessories to deck out your phone die um, so either way you could go either route um, and then of course you have the phone sentiments and the phone dial but that's all you guys um, Today I'm going to indulge and clean and do laundry before it starts getting crazy again. But here is another plate um, bow, sorry you guys, that I made. But that was, this is a, I don't even know what made her do that, but that is a fun technique to make your bow. So it's sturdy and it gives you that jelly sandal look to it. But it was really fun making these and then um, I did also use that technique with this that bigger bow I didn't um, mention it from my last video and I was kicking myself in the butt because I did copy off buzzing with V and this is from foam so this is from foam glitter foam and then this is from the plastic plate just super cute but I hope you guys have a good day and I'll catch you on the next crafty video. I should be doing a haul probably later on today because I'm getting more packages in. But um, yeah, see you on the next video. Bye. I totally forgot. I totally spaced out. But Wendy from Glued With Love also has this die. So we're going to be doing a cow themed uh, telephone. Um, I think it'll be fun. She loves uh, cows and cow print and I also love cow print and any type of animal print so if you guys want to join us um, purchase this die or if you already have it um, add us on um, follow us on Instagram and tag us tag us here on YouTube and um, I want to see what you guys create I think it'll be fun um, I'll be, ma be making mine here shortly after I do my adult things and be a responsible adult but um, I think it should be fun to see what we create um, doing a cow themed and you don't have to do a cow theme you could do like a like a barnyard theme phone but I think that's going to be really fun to do um but yeah I'll catch you on the next crafty video bye